a $1 million wager with asset manager Protégé Partners that over 10 years, hedge funds would not outperform... In, in 2008, Warren Buffett, the renowned investor, made a bet with a hedge fund manager that the S&P 500 index would outperform hedge funds over a 10-year period. The bet, totaling $1 million, aimed to test the effectiveness of active portfolio management against passive investing. The outcome reinforced the notion that passive index funds, with their lower fees and consistent market returns, often are better than actively managed funds, highlighting Buffett's enduring belief in the long-term potential of the stock market. Ronald Red never met Warren Buffett. Most probably he didn't even knew about him. But unknowingly following simple investment strategies that Warren Buffett suggests he made more than eight million. In this video, we will see the journey of Ronald Reed and also what lessons we can learn from him. For those who don't him, Ronald Reed is a retired gas station attendant and janitor who was worth nearly eight million dollars upon his death. I first read about him in Morgan Housel's The Psychology of Money book, which inspired me to dig further. Ronald Reed was born in 1921 in rural Vermont, U.S., to a poverty-stricken farming family. To travel to high school, he walked and hitchhiked daily, covering a distance of over six kilometers every day. After graduating from high school, he enlisted in the United States Army during World War II. After getting an honorable discharge in 1945, Reed returned to Vermont, where he worked as a gas station attendant and mechanic for around 25 years. Thereafter, he took on a part-time job at J.C. Penney Sweeping Floors, where he slogged for 17 years until 1997. Reed bought a two-bedroom house for 12 grand when he was 38 and lived there with his wife and stepkids. He died in 2014 at old age of 92. That was when the world found out about his wealth. In his will, the ex-janitor left $2 million to his stepchildren and $6 million to his local library and hospital. Rule 1. Save more than you spend. This is the foundation of his financial success. He would never have been able to build this wealth if he spent all his money on trendy, unnecessary purchase. Despite only having a relatively low level of earnings working in the service station and as a janitor, he kept his standard of living at a level that allowed him to save. For starters, you can follow 50-30-20 rule of saving and investing. Rule 2. Self-taught finance Ronald invested in stock market only focusing on dividend-paying blue-chip companies. And he only bought companies that he understood, or as Warren Buffett would say, within his circle of competence. Red avoided technology stocks as he didn't understand them. This is an important point. Knowing the stocks to avoid is crucial to building long-term wealth. We can sometimes be tempted to buy those hot Reddit stocks as everyone around us is buying them. Or not getting on their cryptocurrency bandwagon may make us look uncool. When it comes to investing, the majority of people think that this is the job of finance experts and MBA graduates. But you have to understand, you are giving more than a decade to earn from your job. And if you give 10 days to learn the basics of finance, you will be compounding your money your entire life. If Ronald, who was a janitor, can learn the basics of finance, then you can. And if you really want to learn finance in simple terms and in the form of a story, make sure to subscribe our channel. Rule 3. Be patient. We are living in scrolling age. Our patience is gone. But good things take time. You have to be patient while you invest money. To be honest, it is hard to be sane when fake YouTube money gurus show you a 100x crypto jump in a day and their Lambos which they buy by selling courses rather than making money by what they claim. You have to understand and believe the power of compounding. Even Warren Buffett amassed his fortune due to the power of compounding. Lesson 4. Be a learning machine. Reed was an avid learner. He read the Wall Street Journal and Barron's and visited the public library near him to be updated on his stocks. Many successful people attest to reading. Apparently, famed investor Warren Buffett reads hundreds of pages each day. You may not have the patience to sit through 500 pages of a book every day, but 10 minutes of reading each day goes a long way. Knowledge compounds as well. Lesson 5. Creating Diversified Portfolio Reed didn't always have winning stocks. His portfolio included shares of Lehman Brothers, the infamous company that went bankrupt in 2008. However, the collapse didn't affect his returns much since his portfolio was diversified. 
The lesson here is that we will make mistakes with our investments. I hope this story inspired you to start your first million dollar journey. If you liked this story, make sure to hit like button.